Hello everyone, I'm Tito from the RV Squadron and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the CCRP mode for uh, unguided bombs drop from high altitude with the SC-25 ground attack aircraft. So first thing I'm going to do is to set up my bombing program or bomb release program of selecting my bombs then the ripple quantity to all and the ripple interval to 0.1 seconds to the down left of the main instrument panel. Uh, so what is the CCRP stands for that's continuously computed release point uh, which means that the weapon system is automatically releasing the bombs according to certain program uh, upon certain conditions are met so what I just did uh, uh, seconds before was to set up that program which means that I selected all the weapon bombs to be dropped uh, in sequence in interval of 0.1 seconds between the individual bombs drop. Uh, I have FAB 132 of them under my wings and uh, the idea is really to make them cover a, an area, uh, uh, kind of a square. Uh, that's why I selected the minimum uh, release interval. Or you can actually select uh, a zero, which means they will immediately be released uh, all of them at the same time for a single target that might work. So the CCRP mode is very useful uh, in, uh, for attacking non-moving targets or uh, infrastructure or anything with node coordinates that with, which might allow you to fly high and especially the biggest feature is the safety it provides against all short-range infrared missile systems or uh, anti-aircraft anti artillery which is the main threat for all the low-flying uh, aircraft especially the bombers uh, it of course cannot be very effective against fast moving targets or very spread uh, ones so you need to make sure that you're attacking the right target with that mode. So we have a group of ground units down there with a the, uh, yellow field you see next to the city with the orange smoke just for indication. Uh, there are some uh, air defense units among them like Avengers or Vulcan uh, AAA. Uh, mobile systems, so we need to make sure that we bomb from safe altitude. Okay, we're moving in, turning on the laser designator, cutting off the engines to idle in a shallow dive, like 20 30 degree, degrees nose down is enough. You see the crosshair peering in the center, we need to put on exactly where the fur bomb needs to, uh, to hit. And I'm now pressing and holding the weapon release button, and I don't release it until all the bombs are released. Now, on the quarter uh, circle uh, to the right upper corner of the cross here, that's the timer, but the most important is the small triangle on the top, which is uh, should be kept all the time on the top, which means no bank angle is allowed when you're pulling out of the dive. Bombs away. So, all the bombs are dropped. The tone you heard is... Uh, um, initiated three seconds before the calculated uh, bombs release and uh, use control that uh, by the on the timer so let's move a bit to the left and then to the right to see down what we did so we're just flying exactly above the targets we managed to pull out of the dive at 5000 meters which is perfectly safe for us and that's the idea of this mode to keep you safe of, from all the short range stuff down there boom boom we see a good hit down there, all the units probably are dead, or most of them. We didn't get launched that, which means we did a good job of dropping the bombs from high altitude enough and not really to get into the effective range of the Avenger. So this is how it works. Basically, uh, the most important is to properly uh, initiate your diving and uh, maneuver your course to the target. It is important to be aligned with the target or the area longitudinal axis imaginary and also to keep the bank angle to zero while we are pulling out of the dive once you press the um, weapon release button. So let's have a short look how it looks from the outside. The aircraft is now at 6500 meters and the target is down there in the middle of the yellow field marked with the orange smoke. So we are now diving and aligning the aircraft with the main direction the units are spread and the dive angle is no more than 20-30 degrees, but I have to be more. So 
So we have the weapon base button pressed and hold, and we are leveling off. Pulling out of the dive just slightly below 5000 meters, and any seconds the bombs will go. The wings should be level slight adjustments. Arms away. Looks epic from the outside, isn't it? So let's have a look down there what's happening on the ground units. Here they are, four ground units, Avengers pointing their Stinger missiles to the sky, but not for long. Boom! All good hits. Just one lucky guy. Here is another implementation of the CCRP bombing mode. In this case, uh, I'm going to attack a moving convoy of uh, Strelas, Chilkas and some other uh, ground units like BTRs and so on. The, it's similar to the non-moving targets, although a little bit there is a slight specific, especially for the bomb uh, ripple interval. I'm selecting all bombs and then I'm selecting ripple uh, to be dropped and ripple interval to 0.2 seconds which is uh, useful or uh, has uh, uh, meaning to do in case of moving targets uh, that will ensure that the bombs will be dropped uh, further one from another following a main line. Um, we are now uh, having a convoy which is moving which means that uh, uh, we have to align the bombs along the road and uh, they to be, let's say, spread in wider interval to cover a longer distance. So there are a lot of things you have to consider when bombing uh, on moving targets. Of course, they have to be on a straight road and you need to be perfectly aligned with that road. Um, uh, and you have to keep in mind that uh, you only see the targets and the, and the road while you're still diving. When you're pulling out of the dive, you don't see them anymore and then from that moment the only thing that you need to focus is the small triangle on the top of the cross here of the hut, uh, which is uh, basically the bank indicator and it should be kept um, in the middle, actually on the top of the cross here, so we are now starting our dive, cutting out the engines of course, to not to speed up uh, excessively. Turning on the laser designator, the bombs are already selected. So we see the cross here, the timer, full, uh, and the uh, small triangle, which is the bank angle indicator. Then to the right of the road is the orange smoke, just to mark uh, the location for easier identification. So we have a straight line of the road. Okay, but I just pressed the weapon release button. Pulling out of the dive and just looking, I don't see any more of the targets. I only looking at the small triangle to be on the top of the cross here. Timer is going to zero. Here is the tone and bombs away. Our, all the bombs are dropped. The cross here disappears, so I can switch off the target, uh, uh, the range, uh, the laser rangefinder. So breaking me to the right, left, and then right looking down to see what we just did the convoy is now approaching the orange smoke a lot of units down there so there is no missiles on us so we are still flying on safe altitude although we have some strellas and we have some good hits down there so yeah not their day definitely So this is just another example how you can use the CCRP bombing mode from standoff altitude on the moving targets. 
that of course is a really specific example because there was a straight road you can't really employ that if there is a curve on the road or the units are spread so let's have one more look uh, from the outside just to see the difference uh, how the bouncer dropped with a longer release interval from 0 0.2 seconds how does it look like and then we'll see over how does that affect the spreading of the bombs on the ground similar dive angle 20-30 degrees no more we're aiming with slide bank left or right to the cross here to the point we want to initiate our the first, the first bomb to, to hit once we're happy with that, pressing and holding the weapon release button, then we're pulling out of the dive, and even we can go a bit climbing, but let's keep it for the moment level flight. And bombs away. You can see that the bombs are actually were dropped twice slower compared to the uh, previous example uh, when we were engaging stationary targets. So let's key, let's see what will happen down there. Okay, that's Estrella. Three of them. They seem to have already spotted me, but they're not shooting because I'm quite high. So, boom! That was a good hit. So this concludes the tutorial for the CCR pit bombing, basically a uh, mode that is really allowing it to fly safely with unknown uh, presence of uh, short range enemy air defenses and to bomb especially on fixed uh, targets with no coordinates uh, successful. Thanks for watching.